Episode commencing in 3, 2, 1. Episode initiated. Boom, 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 boom. Join us this week for another DC reboot as Battenson takes on the goth eye makeup wearing Bruce Wayne in the crime addled rainy streets of Gotham in another thrilling adventure of The Crit Man. This is your GM Patrick here. Your Gotham mayor murdered quite quickly into the film, and joining me is an evil online gang of followers to the Riddler and my five friends, your brooding vigilantes across the digital table from me, a slippery, slinky, jewel thief with a troubled past. It's Miles playing Cat Raimi. Good evening. The correct answer is meow. <laughs> meow. My meowls. <laughs> Incorrect. On my right, the Watson to Bats Homes in the GCPD. It's Tyler playing Edros Gordon. Hello. To his left, the criminal stooge ready to waddle all over Crime Alley. It's Rebecca playing Alindra Cobblepot. Hello. To my left, you will turn a blind eye to the bad guy. It's Drew playing Knack Riddler. Crime Alley scene. And finally, to his left, he is the knight. But is he ready to be the embodiment of vengeance? It's Jabert as Bad Andis. Beep boop. I mean, uh, the <laughs> I'm the the dark or something. <laughs> you you the are dark. the knight. Yes, yes. Ooh, it was like three hours long. <laughs> yeah, it was a, it was a long one, but uh, thankfully it was pretty good for the, all three hours. So. Yeah, I could I could use yeah. another twenty minutes. It'd take twenty twenty five more minutes. Definitely, definitely not. <laughs> I got it, it's that movie caused a rift in my marriage. My wife will not go to; she won't trust me to, to pick movies out anymore because that one was so long. <laughs> like <laughs> never doing a three-hour movie again. Well, we get we get to the, I mean, there's like spoilers for that movie, but not really. We get to where we think the movie ends, and then <laughs> I looked at my watch, and there's like another forty-five minutes. So I was like, oh no. <laughs> oh no <laughs> anyway this is a great film though I think, I think is, uh, is Killer Croc not in it no, no no you gotta go to Suicide Squad for that for that unfortunately my favorite sorry Tyler guys you ready to get back into Starfinder this week play a little Starfinder I would, action I, I would actually like to delay as long as possible <laughs> you found yourself in some, I think we're going to go with strawberry jam. <laughs> a very bloody red strawberry jam. Tyler. Well, no one would dare give you the raspberry, so this is indeed strawberry. Well, the, the good thing for you, you have the chance to earn a boon this week with some last time on trivia. Three questions. You guys get them right. You get the boon. I get them all. I guess you get them all wrong. I get them right. I stump you and I get the boon. We're still playing for the Pathfinder 2E crit. So if you hit 10 above, that is a crit. Uh, Your first question. Last time on, you found kind of the control center for these robot sieves. And this is now the second time this question has come up. What was the name of those robotic creatures? She fought like three episodes. I know. Ago. I know. Oh. I wrote it down. Oh, you told us. Oh, Stage what is it? Coffers. Yes, I did mention them last week as well. You found destroyed remnants of them in a burnt out chamber with what looks like the remnants of a battle with those sage coffers. What was a creature that was attacked by them and probably supernova turning itself into a new Solarian crystal for Alindra? Oh, I think I wrote this down. I have Solar some wisp. Ooh, yes, that is correct, Tyler. Oh, yeah. pulling it out. Oh, all right. Well, our, our trivia heavy hitters are down for the count. Oh boy. Hey, I, I had both of those <laughs> written <laughs> down too. Thank you. No I'll pressure. This one now. <laughs> Drew, Jabert, and Miles. Uh, you all entered the following chamber and saw it overgrown with mushroom spores. What's the name of the sentient colony of creatures that you are fighting currently? And please spell it. Oh, no. <laughs> I was like, oh, Tyler's going to get that one probably. But because he Googled it last week. Do I any did. three of you want to venture a guess? I mean, it's it's the 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 <laughs> Frugi colony. Drew's going for it. The Frugi. Spell it, Drew. 
but you didn't spell it in the show. This is not yeah, fair. Have, yeah. <laughs> right, you didn't spell it out for us, Patrick. We haven't looked at the book because we're not cheaters like Patrick. You know what, Drew? I'm feeling so terrible. I'll give you the first three letters. F-R-U. Okay, it is F-R-U-J-A-I. Someone, someone texted it to you, uh, you, you dirty cheater. I, uh, no, I can tell Patrick, you're reading Patrick, it. Patrick, I was reading it from the screen in front of me because you left it on the character icon that I zoomed in on. <laughs> uh, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. That's just resourcefulness right there. <laughs> so a Pathfinder crit, whoever wants to use it, you know, maybe you'll you'll figure out if you can or not, but... You have to, yeah, whoever rolls it, you know, has to use it without maybe knowing what the AC of the enemy is. So, so you have to declare it before you make the roll or no, you after you can see okay. your roll. So, like, if you get a 19 or 18, you're like, oh, I think that might do it. I would say yeah. go for it. All right. Yeah. And you guys got your book re rolls. We're into the thick of this combat. As I, we mentioned earlier, for some reason, a dross has run into the next room <laughs> past some of the warriors guarding this Frugi colony. And including has woken up a possibly a massive mecha infused with these mushrooms and triggered the core of the colony, a colossal creature <laughs> to emerge. You guys can all see this on the map. It's a giant, I mean, it's, it's like almost kaiju sized. <laughs> We're talking like 20, 30 foot tall, three huge stalk like legs and a tryptophobic back of spore holes. Turn three of this combat, Tyler, we're on to you. I would just like to clarify for the mm -hmm. records that I didn't just wander into this room for no reason. You said there was a noise. I investigated. <laughs> Curiosity kills me more than anything else. So uh, anyway, Adrosti's two combatants, both which outsize him, and he is outnumbered. Not good. And our two heaviest hitters are dealing with other things. What I would like to do... Actually, I don't, I don't think I have the Frugi Colony's size right. I think it's supposed to be 30 by 30. Oh, boy. Yeah. Excuse me. Let, me. let me beef this guy up a little bit. All right. What would you like to do? I think what I'm going to do is spend a standard action. I have just enough space. I have just enough space to charge at this fungus covered mechanical being oh you're going for the spoiler uh <laughs> spoiler mecca that gave true the answer yes spoiler, oh, how dare you spo spoiler mecca is what we will call it from here on out so i'm going to attack the spoiler mecca twice charging in and that does provoke that movement only if you remember to take your attacks of opportunity okay well, I'm going to do that. <laughs> I was hoping you'd forget. But I don't know no, what since, kind of mind since, game since you're, you're playing. you're apparently going to play by the rules. Yeah, no, you could. Yeah. Yeah. So the mech is going to make a slam attack first. All right. And uh, that is a miss. A 10 on the dice against you, good sir. And the Frugi colony you're like 20 feet away from is also you're getting within range of. And I figured. It has... Uh, yeah, it is a, a slam attack as well. I guess technically he can reach over and try and bite you. I don't know if I want to bite you yet. Let's try a, let's try a slam. One of these huge legs. Huge legs. Uh, that's only seven on the dice. That is also a miss. All right. Well, the, oh, okay. the brash. Lucky. Yeah, the brash charge ahead apparently has worked. Yeah, they, they were expecting you, a tactical you, retreat. They were you, wrong. You will learn zero lessons from no. <laughs> Oh, 19 on the dice. Ooh, now here we go. Here's where I, we enter into. Do you want to uh, think? Do you think that would be a Pathfinder 2E crit? Would you want to try and burn it immediately? This, this thing is. Yeah, this this mech is, is bigger than the other Frugi soldiers that yeah. you've seen so far. I'm going to hold off. I'm hoping that maybe Alindra or Andis also rolls well on one of their soldiers and just they can just eliminate it immediately with a okay. with a big crit. Well, I can tell you 41 is a hit. Okay. And a, a super hit at that, but I don't know if actually, yeah, no, you, you can chop off bits of this. Do you have any critical uh, effects on your blade? It's I an apocalypse blade, right? Yes. Yeah, I think that's a 
a, a wound, uh, or if, if not a severe wound. I, I don't have anything written down. Because these are the blades I picked up off of. This is the blade I picked up off of. Time bending <laughs> butthead. Oh, uh, that's a that's a trivia question for next week. Where so where did the apocalypse come from? Time bending butthead. Time bending butthead. butthead. Let me roll the second attack. You get two. Uh, seems overpowered. Well, what was the damage on the the first? Oh, 82. Oh, okay, pretty good. So it was it was nearing. You got these blades off of, and they are Vorpal Apocalypse Devastation blades. They oh, have, so they are okay. They have Vorpal as a it's bleed. fusion. So. <laughs> Terrible, terrible. Oh, goodness. All right. Severe so, wound. All right. Well, I'm, I'm putting the bleed on. And what's, what's the second attack? Second attack is a 37. Ooh, some good rolls here. That's also a hit. That's 88 points of damage. Oh, well, I don't, I don't have this guy's total HP written down. So let's see here. So 83 on the first one, 88 on the second. 82 and 88. 82. Oh, oh. Also known as 170 altogether. <laughs> my calculate my calculator skills not working right now. Wait, what 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 do you think the total is? 170? 170. Yes, that's what I thought you had said 180 for some reason. Oh, uh, wires crossed. That can I do math? Yes, that is enough to bloody this mecha. Mm, I'll take it. Crew dry soldier. Those were good rolls. Those were good rolls for me. Now that yeah. is only a standard action, and so as an actual move action, I'm absolutely running by, running away. <laughs> I'm moving back. I'm moving back. I'm moving back. So you at least have to move to me to hit me. Anyway, I don't know. We'll see. Ramy. Hope so. Ramy is up next. Miles. Okay. <laughs> Adras bravely charged in, and I was bravely beating a tactical retreat. So the two things. Mm-hmm. They're separate entities, correct? Yeah, this is all kind of like one connected hive mind, but these right. are two separate combatants for the purposes of okay, targeting. Okay, okay, that, that, that's what I was a little unclear on. For some reason, I thought like it was one of those situations where you uh, had like, oh, this thing's actually attached to the bigger boy. They are standing right next to each other. I understand that aspect. Okay, so this guy is... The one that Adras just did uh, like 170 damage to, right? Yes. And it, it, just a reminder, this huge Frugi warrior seems to be grown inside the crab-like mechs that you saw in the, the previous room and have, have like animated it. Awesome. Okay. So <sighs> Raimi obviously is, I mean, his attention now... He, he was trying to split attention between what was going on in D11 and what's <laughs> well, yeah. going on in D12. The and first room the and the gi- second the, room, yeah. The gigantic creature has, this room has now taken his 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 attention fully <laughs> since there are three <laughs> members of of his team in, in D11 dealing with Tweedledum and Tweedledumber. We could call it the small room and the big room, <laughs> yes. But there are three behind you and you are, I guess, the second closest to the colossal... Frugi colony. Bully for me. You've got Idros um, between you and 50 tons and of, of kill. Is is our, our friend up front, the armored Fru, Frugi, mm-hmm. is he bloodied? Yeah, so you just saw Idros really, really goof him up. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Ooh, Patrick. Way in, okay. in some decisions here. Remy's going to use a po- a seasonal favorite mm-hmm. and uh like for the, disintegrate <laughs> but say for, like for the holidays disintegrate this is or... a pumpkin spice disintegrate <laughs> yeah okay oh, no this is a peppermint mocha disintegrate <laughs> give us a nice attack against eac uh, it's a ranged attack right correct mundo the 30 against eac uh, that is a hit. Yeah. What is your fortitude DC? <laughs> what? Your wait, no. Uh, what is the <laughs> what is the DC? I have to roll for fortitude. Uh, it's a level five spell. Six. Centigrade. Mine's, mine's a six, I think. Unless I put in the wrong spot. I thought it was a level six. 
Um, I thought you had it for longer than that, but maybe, maybe it was my, I think it was my first level six spell. (laughs) It makes sense (laughs) because you had cast it on me once and I was like, never again. How dare you? No one Uh, makes me bleed my own blood. Let me, let me double check on that. The center is level six. Yeah. Okay. So 27. Well, yeah, I think 20, 28. Isn't there a plus one in there? Okay. Uh, yeah, nope, it is level six. Okay, so let me take a look at what f- my fortitude bonus is. It is my best. Mm. I can still roll low. Let's see. Appreciate it. Oh, that's a natural <laughs> one. That's very low. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> that is what we'd like to <laughs> I was about to say, if I roll low, I'm <laughs> rolling it, but can't re-roll that one. No, sir. No. Not. That we let those beautiful. we let those bad boys stand on this podcast. Not not under my roof will you re-roll a natural one. So that means you're taking 14d20 damage. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. I, I wanna... bloodied it on 170. So if you do <laughs> 170, we know it's dead. Boy, if we could have it's 141. Attacked... It's, that's pretty good. Wait, that 140 hit points left. Oh, yes. oh, 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 oh. The numbers have dwindled here. You magical <laughs> god. I thought this wow. was going to be one of our longer episodes. <laughs> yeah, so I, I think most of the mecha frame is still intact, but every piece of mushroom and mycelium strands kind of holding this thing up just ash away they just like blow away in the <laughs> the next breeze that comes through the the doors here and it kind of just falls over to the ground so yeah all you have left is the one that's twice the size <laughs> and now is maybe even more angry at you uh at me move, move action oh yeah definitely. <laughs> yeah you <laughs> good sir move action is I think as a move action I can just teleport 30 feet so I'm gonna do that <laughs> so get back <laughs> oh now now knack is the second closest to this <laughs> thing <laughs> excellent excellent get back I don't think get you can back fit in that you don't know me though. like that I mean it's it's 30 feet across right that's a tiny hallway mm. you would think you would think we'll see what happens <laughs> knack feldspar is is next Knack will remember this, he thinks to himself. Remember what? (laughs) (laughs) Raimi hiding behind Knack as the giant monster comes crashing in. I'm not hiding behind you. I'm just putting distance between the two of us. Which which one of these dudes in this of the two warriors has the most damage done to it? Oh, the one Andis is fighting is near death's door. All right. So uh, we're going to focus on the one that Alindra has. Let's get him and... You know, do I even have to roll this? Because you look like a complete pushover, a clever feint. I think you will need to use that expertise you hear so much about. A good roll, put you over. Oh, yeah. Max roll. There we What's go. F- 47, that is a success. So that's both on this one to the south of the small room. Yes. It is jittery as you yell in its direction. Shout at people to murder it. And let's uh, let's shoot it with a with a gun. Ooh, four on the dice. Yeah, that's a twenty six. I don't think that's gonna do it. Book reroll, level reroll. <laughs> I think I want to save it for maybe the giant monster, <laughs> and not this guy. And this one four eight. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. All right, so let's. See. I got I got myself got myself a monster. Got this guy uh, right in front of you. Uh, Elendra hasn't turned off her haste circuit yet, so... Nope. Got that going for me, too. <laughs> Three um, rounds of haste down! All right. I am officially at the point where I cannot benefit from get them anymore, but I'm also at the point where I deal an extra... Duh. How much damage is that? Let's find out. Deal some extra damage to yeah. Nack because you don't need get him anymore. That's right. <laughs> Just <laughs> uh, wipe him off the board. <laughs> I, you have become... <laughs> Superfluous. <laughs> I'm an evolutionist. You've become the Nikithi of this season. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, let's let's make that full attack then. First attack against this one to the north. That's super weak. <laughs> hey. Super super weak. Super hit. Uh. Yeah. Pretty close. Uh, that's a. Oh yeah. A good uh, hit. 
We call 18's a good hit around here. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll let that stand as is. I'm not going to steal a steal a Pathfinder crit for that. So, uh, that'll uh, be 58 points of damage. That's enough to take this one. Oh, down. oh good call, good call. All right, let's see here. And then one, two, three. At about 30 hit points left. Oh, boy. I'm coming around. And we're getting into flanking with Alindra. Oh, I don't. Yes, this guy has his attack of opportunity, but not to you, right? Because you're you don't provoke from movement. I forget. No, no, no. You I'm, I'm flankable. And so that's the that's the thing. Okay, so then it will, that, that was a different character that uh, <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> we played too many games together. Yeah. Jipper, we need to stop. <laughs> we need to. You know what? When we when we hit seventy, I think we should just chill on some uh, t- tabletop role playing games. We take. Like a, a month break, <laughs> right? We'll take a month off when when, when we when and, we and, uh, start social security. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Let me make this attack of opportunity. Got these guys hit like a truck, a big old Mackam truck. If I roll above a ten, and maybe this does, and maybe this a is, 10? This is uh, case forty, just a hit because Goodness gracious. None of the things Nack did reduce its attack, correct? You don't have mobility. Get him. No, not with this version of Indus. Yeah. Okay. That is a hit, and I don't have the <laughs> damage ready to go like I did last week for these guys. It is 8d6. Big attack. Big boy attack. Ooh, very low. Oh. Dice damage, 45 points of bludgeoning. And you got a couple more attacks still with the haste, so we get. Yeah, one second. Oh, it is great having so much uh, damage reduction, but mm-hmm. um, but boy, is it all Mad. over the place in terms of like, it's just, just every round my damage reduction changes, and so I <laughs> constantly have to go check it. Yeah. All right, so you said 45. All right, so. First world character problems it's like oh, i take so less damage all the i mean time. i mean it's like it's like single digits though so it's not yeah. it's not like that important it's just like <laughs> but gotcha yeah so let's see so then i have to go check my hp okay so all right all right i am in hp damage <sighs> these guys hit so hard <laughs> so, and they hit all the time. And I'm going to attack it three times. So hopefully I hit all the time. <laughs> Spoiler warning. These tactically aren't Frugi Warriors. They are advanced Frugi Warriors. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, oh. Another 40 to hit. Another 18. This one flanking. Oh, he's flanking, got so a 44. Ooh, I, might take, I might take that. I might take that. Uh, that that yeah. Pathfinder the- crit on this guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah knock him down. I, I was about to say, I think you can pretty much guarantee that. Well, I guess uh, maybe you don't know what the AC is. Yeah, but I, 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 don't, I don't know what it is, but uh, but oh, but for the record, I don't benefit from get them right now. OK, so just flanking and no, no, but just, it's, the, it's that super flanking. So it's like that that plus four plus to four flank. and it's flat footed to attacks, right? True. Yes, because of clever. Oh, because it's fainted. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So if you're using the Pathfinder crit, that's a crit. All right. Oh, so which means yeah. technically, I think we need to shout, shout out, out Patreon. a Patreon. Uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. While uh, <laughs> while Jabert there. rolls an obscene amount of uh, yeah, roll, dice and damage, roll a bunch of damage there, Jabert, and oh, we'll right. figure it out. Yeah, um, <laughs> go ahead and roll it because roll twenty will uh, take forty five minutes to process this many dice. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Truth. Yeah, and uh, uh, we'll, we'll, we will call out a new Patreon supporter in December, I believe. I think we had a new $10 supporter. Oh, I don't see it in the... <laughs> if I go looking for it. Oh, great, great. Now I look like the jerk. <laughs> James F. Thank you, James F. There was a new supporter just a few days or just yesterday so i don't know what i, I was having difficulty finding that but thank you even for a moment supporting us on uh, the patreon mm-hmm. what is what's our crit damage Jabert. so i'm gonna add the bonus damage to this one so that'll be a nice extra chunk of damage that'll be 151 points of damage 
Oh, and great. let's let's uh, let's put that severe wound on this bad boy. <laughs> no, he's only got two legs and like no other arms. <laughs> oh, I, I know exactly what it's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> You've rolled two I rolled thirteens. two thirteens on this two uh, d twenty. So. Love it. Do you know what a 13 on the severe wound? I'm sure it is. Looking it up right now. <laughs> I would say I don't have it. Get ready to go. 13 is an eye. An eye. Uh, eye. Lost eye. Wow. Make that reflex save and lose. lose. <laughs> uh, I wish it was a one-eyed creature. But I was about to say, I don't. Th- there's not eyes on the art, really. But I think they do have eyes. I think All right, can like, I can well, I just hit it in the shins then? <laughs> it, it loses. That's my, that's my go-to. It loses I think if you have multiple eyes, half of your eyes. <laughs> yeah, so like right. you just smush the side of its face and oh, what are you, you doing standing? for your, oh yes, yes. He's okay. very hurt and bloodied after that, believe it or not, but. All right, I'm gonna try to end it here. Natural 20. <laughs> oh, get for out of here. Critical. <laughs> this is the, get out. I'm gonna see if I can take out that other eye. <laughs> Overkill. <laughs> Two thirteens. Yeah, I get the twelve. The twelve. Get the get the other eye. Oh no. You, yeah, I think that it, that is more than the eye. I think that's his head completely <laughs> off. Ooh, but the, we might be at a a new potential threshold for the most damage done in a turn here because that's two crits and a hit. Yeah, that was uh, uh, dang. critical shout out. Let's do one of our very good friends. Critical shout out to. Jonathan, Jonathan over in the Dragon Master Rising camp. We thank you so much. I think might be our longest supporting Patreon member. We appreciate you a great deal. And apparently Andis can't crit without you. <laughs> can't <laughs> make it that magic without the support of our Patreon subscribers. Yes. This is uh, a lot of damage and this one is uh, very dead. Oh, yeah. So so sorry, Rebecca. You've got nothing to do. And it's just cleaned up this Man. room. Presumably you can hear some shouting going on from the other rooms. So. <laughs> oh yeah. There there might be a battle somewhere else. Who knows? We can't we can't tell. What would you like to do, Rebecca? Well, Alindra uh, feels rather free to turn her uh sights toward the monstrous sounds coming from the other room. Do I have the action economy to move to this little hallway and stellar rush and triple attack? Can I triple attack at the end of a stellar rush? Stellar rush is just a standard and a, a single attack, I believe, at the the end of it. So okay, even if I'm hasted. Yeah, but I mean, if you have the movement, you can move to it in stellar rush, or I mean, uh, uh, three attack. Yeah, what's, let me see if I do. What's uh, your movement hasted right movement? What is my hasted movement? What does haste do for your movement? I think that's 30. Yeah, it's plus 30 feet, I want to say. So normally my movement is 50, so I guess it would be 80. 80? Yes. Can I get all there, all the way there? Looks like he's 100 feet away from you. So no. Doesn't look like it. All right. Well, I guess I'll, I'll just uh, rush at it and take a single strike then okay his attack of opportunity has been sapped by a dross so you're moving into this frugi colony without backup right now it's a 36 to hit 36 is gonna be a hit oh! it is a hit oh good yeah good 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 that does let's see 92 damage because of the tuned. mostly slashing a little bit of fire in there yeah Excellent, excellent. Okay, and that is your full turn, right? Because you moved and then standard rushed. Yep. Rushed in. Okay, dokely. All right, that brings us to its turn. And it had a whole different thing it was going to do. If (laughs) it was running away, it didn't have someone up in its combat range. And... And now Alindra's just dead. I, well, I just had a whole plan for my turn. I've been waiting this entire episode so far to get back to my turn. And now let me just go ahead and dig in to some some other abilities. To say, <laughs> I guess. I was really hoping I could triple attack. That would have been way cooler. Uh, and broken. Yeah. I was only short, like 20 feet. Close. It's very close. It's what makes haste so good. We need to replace more of your legs. With, with more with more speed. Yeah. Oh, I was to bring say, you got too many of those things. Yeah. 
got too many legs. <laughs> come, on, come over here. I'm feeling lucky. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to help you get some more legs. Some birds want legs so bad. Yep. This thing is going to do one of its abilities as you feel gravity in this chamber kind of shifting and swaying as it begins to pull in maybe all like the spores around it. The, it looks like the wind's blowing it in its direction and then they all start moving away from it in a super fast flurry past both Alindra and Edros as gravity seems to be pushing you to the back of this chamber back away from this massive colossal creature it's an ability called a gravity wave and you two can make me a reflex save about the same what'd you get 26 27 okay so these are both successes i believe oh. i didn't know there was going to be damage Yes, you do not get pushed back by the gravity wave, and you're only taking 22 points of bludgeoning damage. Yes, bludgeoning damage oh. as it's trying to push you on back here. Let's see. And part of this gravitational energy around it is it lifts. I don't think it has to move very far off the ground, but it starts hovering very, very low above the ground, and it's legs are just kind of akimbo over you alindra and yeah that is that is its abilities it doesn't have any of its warriors left to defend it which means we're on turn four with the dross oh all right <laughs> you beat the tactical retreat and now alindra has beat you to first blood on the colony charge back in no <laughs> <laughs> okay attack of opportunity Coming at you. I got to roll at least a 10. Yeah, seven on the That's dice. Seven's a miss. Oh, I have a, I have level rerolls. I forget about oh, this no! all the time. <laughs> I forget about this all the time because of Pathfinder. Let me, let me go ahead and take that. Uh, oh, no. Oh, there's a good one. 16 oh, no. on the dice. So oh, we get to see those things. Man. Oh, yeah. We can't fight a Frugi colony without a vest getting smushed into jam. <laughs> I think I said slam. This is going to be its bite attack. We haven't seen it bite attack. Oh, please don't tell me it just gets to eat me. Well, it'd be great if it did. Wouldn't that just be great? That would be, uh, that would be fun. Want some D10s for damage. D10s and a healthy addition to that. This is 65 points of piercing damage. It's a big old hump. Takes a big old bite out of you as you get up close to it. What would you like to do? Piercing reduction. So that's just ouch. A big ouchies, you say. Yeah, yeah. We're just making two attacks at the end of this. Hoping for big numbers. No whammies. 38. That's going to do it. Ooh. Look at all the ones in that damage roll, though. Oh, my land. 38 is a hit. 64 points of disappointment. <laughs> okay. I got felt like that. <laughs> 33? That is a miss. Of course, of course it is. That's really good damage. <laughs> That's the opposite mm. of what I rolled before. I'm going to re-roll it. I like Ooh. that damage too much. Ooh. 91, not a number I hit too often. All right, all right. I've already written down the damage, but I'll go back and erase my math if you <laughs> hit on this. Come so on! You rolled redo. a 13. We're looking for... 35! Ooh, that is a miss. Oh, oh I've oh, lulled you into a false sense of security. He seems oh. to have his defenses up right now. <laughs> and is still doing pretty well. Let's see here. What's, what's your total HP? Good, sir. Oh, it's so much. It's th This is the boss right here. Okay. So, Well, I have a that, move action left. All oh, right. And charged, so charged. I'm going to click a button on my suit and create a hollow double. All right, let's not forget about the hollow double this time. <laughs> we'll try. No, here we go. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm cloning your character in, in Roll 20. Oh, that's Boop. fun. Boop. There's two Edrosses now. You're sick of them. <laughs> Rainy Quindar, you are next in the turn order. You're back in the small room now, teleported away, but your allies yeah. have charged in. All right. So now that I know that this thing isn't zeroing in on me quite yet. <laughs> oh, you got um, blockers. You got blockers for days. Yeah, I'm popping back into my spot and says what's going on here. So we've got I've got 
two Adrosses, which has been the subject of many tawdry dreams. I've got a Lindra <laughs> and a giant. I mean, how, how, how big are we talking? I mean, is this kaiju sized? I mean, yeah, for, for as big like, as Are we talking monsters, the host or are we talking like the first 54 Godzilla? I don't know what it says in the book about its height. Let's see. But I mean, this is as large as creatures really come in in Starfinder, the like scale wise. And uh, yeah, it's it's up there as far so as is it, is it bigger than that that giant worm from uh, season three? I think they're on the same fight? same scale. So this is you know the one that we had starship combat with thirty to forty feet starship combat. I don't know about that. But there a giant worm that followed us at the, uh, the uh, in book one. That well, yeah, that's, he, that's the same one that you fought at the end of book six, but that that was also colossal. I'm pretty sure. The oh man, okay. Worm. Yeah, I mean, when it when it go big or go home. So I guess uh, we're gonna, we're gonna do, try to do another disintegrate. Ooh. Oh, feeling lucky. It is a big target. Yeah, it's it's a big mm-hmm. boy, and not a whole lot. Ramy's gonna think needs to be done other than just eliminating this thing. All right, make me that EAC attack. All right. Oh, oh. Super hits. Yeah, I don't have to look up the AC for that one. The, and we've already determined it's a 27, 28, potentially. 28, I think. <laughs> Let's see here. I think you did just get a, a boost to that. Natural one. Natural one. I was about to say, this d- definitely is its best save oh so man let's not roll another natural one. <laughs> oh let's not now yeah, 15 on the dice it has saved it's only taken a uh, 40 20 40 20 yep i mean that's okay it's so good it could still be pretty good still something and it's, it's it's better than nothing uh but close to it 29 points <laughs> not not great no double digits yeah. on those dice. yeah that was I, I thought i saw like a 15 but it got i did too but it, it seemed to have have gone the way of the buffalo okay that is your turn <laughs> knack feldspar we're on to you knack is gonna follow the the crowd like what the prog is going on in here what the prog is that thing can I can I roll a uh, hmm, let's see a life science on this thing? Yeah, this is a plant creature, so it would be life science. I don't have great life science. I don't think I can roll a, an intimidate to identify. It's a thirty. Not gonna do. Definitely a member of the Frugi colony, but you don't you don't know anything about these creatures. All right. Anyway, let's just kill this thing. I guess. Uh. uh I was going to talk to it, but not anymore. <laughs> now it goes down. We're going to do get him and we're going to just let's see. Ramy, what is your my what? Well, I lost the word. Hang on. What is your specialization? Is it half level, three quarter level or full level for long arms? I think it's full level. All right. Then we're going to we're going to pop out our avalanche class zero rifle which is a tattoo fusion so i can quick draw it and we're going to use a quick study Mm. uh, and we're going to take an attack with that all right and we're going to re-roll that attack with the level (laughs) few with the level (laughs) re-roll you got another four on the dice i think you could do better i believe do better you gotta do a lot better than four i'll tell you that much good sir Oh, you did. 17 on the dice. That's a a hit. 39 to hit for 55 damage. We're we're taking the first Uh, damage that you rolled, but still, it's pretty darn good. Still pretty good. Five. Yeah. uh, We've (laughs) been so long since we used our rerolls. We should shout out our our charity partner in our last Critter Con for these these rerolls. Norse Foundry. Uh, we haven't used a reroll in like a few months. Full level. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say like the, this entire level for sure. But I guess it was probably the fight with Nairn you used them last. Anyway, the, the, uh, but while we're using our rerolls here, let's give a shout out to Norse Foundry and technically still the holidays. You can buy your gift cards there for people you don't know, gaming wise in your life that might need some some metal stone dice things of that mm-hmm. nature 
You can use Cosmic Crit as a code for discounts, but I personally would love a <laughs> dice gift card in my stocking. I don't know about you guys. You they get those gorgeous dice. Last minute, yes. I've I've purchased some of their stone sets before. I really like the precious stones. I highly, I like, I highly recommend any of the metal sets because it comes with D4s, metal D4s, and you can use those as caltrops against home invasion if you ever find yourself in need. It's not so a joke. It's, <laughs> it's so much more dangerous in my mind than Legos on the ground. I'll step on Legos all day and long. Function. Oh, no. oh, yeah, no. My my daughter loves playing with my dice, and for <laughs> whatever reason, she oh, loves no. playing with the D4s, and she puts them <laughs> all over the kitchen floor. And, uh, and, uh, and a test... Ever- Home Alone approved. <laughs> and if you are ever at a convention where uh, they have a booth in the vendor booth, go and say, hey, they are fantastic guys. They uh, they are uh, really fun, cool dudes. Say mm-hmm. hi. Agreed. Drew, I think you are the only successful re-roll, <laughs> level re-roll we've had in like... <laughs> A season. Uh, no, of, this is not just the only successful. This is the only successful reroll I've ever had. Yeah. Every other reroll I've had <laughs> go, has been exactly a, the same. Almost the opposite side of the dice. A four to a 17. Way to go, buddy. Way to go. Look at you. Look at you. Points on the board here. And getting something done with all these crits and super crits and super I mean, hits. And you might be happy to to find out you are the one that bloodied this Frugi colony, hey. sir. Oh. You did it. That's on you. No one can take that away from you. All by okay. yourself. <laughs> no one else to do anything. <laughs> uh, Andis, one, All right. four, eight. You're next. I am next. Let's say I've been measuring. So, so now that I'm at max mutation points, my speed goes up. So and with haste, I can book it on into the room pretty good. Uh, move 80 feet. So I come stomping around the corner here and i see this massive thing um, hey hello hey hey, hey. i'm the frugi colony welcome to my house <laughs> i can see and whoa get this played, uh, played by owen wilson hey how you doing <laughs> wow i'm going to <laughs> make two attacks with a major disruption rifle i think and so this is at a minus four and yes i'm gonna use my the fact that I'm hasted to get two shots on this guy. Here we go. Pew pew. Big big blasters. Um. Hey, 39 to hit. That's a hit. Oh, for 54 points of sonic damage. Ooh. Nice. Nice. Still up. Still still fighting strong here. All right. Next one. Oh, only a 28. But you know what? <gasps> that level reroll. <laughs> I warned you guys that we have yeah. two levels uh, level it's ups a, left in this book. You know? We've we've been we've been, we've been hoarding them. at this level for some time now, and I'm gonna use that reroll. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, so you had a five on the dice, and now oh, you did better. Hey, did I got better. a six on the dice. <laughs> now that's that's how they're supposed to work. It's working as yeah. You did now, now. now they're now they're back now they're back to their factory reset. So, that's a miss, but uh, all right. oh, I'm I'm worried about yeah, this. Jibber- we got. Jibber, when you roll ranged, do you get get them, or is that only when you do melee? So, because I've hit uh, four mutation points, I am too uh, mechanized to benefit from morale bonuses. <laughs> and so, it is like it is the the drawback from for getting for like letting your points build up. You're you're juicing on MP and you can't hear yeah, the, right, the honeyed exactly. words of the bard of the That's right. I, I can't I can't I I I'm I can't I can't take I can't, can't take your help. Oh no, just too much robot. <laughs> Evolutionist <laughs> is such a crazy class because it really is built for boss fights. Just like I'm gonna get, keep getting stronger and meaner. <laughs> <laughs> well, keep building up these these points. Okay. No, no reroll hit there. I am very worried, though, before I get a chance to attack this thing again. Alindra is next to it in in combat, in melee combat. Oh, you know what's coming for you. I don't. <laughs> Got three attacks. Well, I guess I do then. I, I, when you say it no, like that, normally it means you're going to supernova. So <laughs> well, I was like, I've really I, done I, it. That's what I, you're gonna honestly, so I was thinking about supernova Have I noticed that like the fire seems to do additional damage or something when I hit it? Or 
You guys Is that have, something Alindra would have seen? You guys have not. Okay. In that case, I'm just going to attack thrice. Thrice still attack, have my, you say? Yeah. Because I still have my um, haste circuit on. So these are going to be negative three to each of these because of get em, right? Sounds right. There's a get em on them? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Didn't mark it. Didn't mark it. 34 to hit. That to me is. Oh, yeah. no. Let yeah, me re-roll we're... that. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> I'm never I'm never telling you guys. I'm never reminding need, you ever. I think ever we need again. like a 37 or, or 38. All right. Level reroll. That was not including get them correct. It does include get them. Oh, it does. Oh, hey. 42. There we go. 18 on the dice and you, you used a high amount of damage for this reroll. Was that 82 damage? 80, no, it's going to be 85 damage. Oh, my. Oh. Still in this fight, though. <laughs> All you have to Two do is hits. roll super well. Continue to roll super well. All right, that's Ooh. 37. 37 going to be a hit. Oh, there we go. 85 damage. No, 88 damage. Eight damage. Oh, this thing goes down. Yes! <laughs> oh, no. Yes. I didn't get a chance to surrender with my giant fruit giant colony. You guys did so much damage in one turn. We're out of combat. Wait, it would have surrendered? Oh, yes. This is a sentient <laughs> being that wanted to live. It wanted to live so bad. Uh, <laughs> Nack runs up to it uh, double time and sticks it with a healing potion. No. <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> I'll allow it. He's been it's, trying to save, save, like, not fight people for, like, for, like, I don't know, the last 18 books. And so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, the, the, if you do um, indeed want to do that, like, First half person of person who's willing to <laughs> put down their weapons, half of this colony has completely melted away from solarian fire-based attacks massive shots disintegration and the bit that remains speaks to you telepathically in your mind is like surrender now (laughs) please (laughs) no more you have bested us we'll let you live if whatever remains promises your fealty to us and we get to ride you only one of you pick pick one of you to ride and that is all the humiliation that I can endure <laughs> I thought Raimi hops I thought, on I thought, and just says giddy up <laughs> oh, you got a motorcycle Raimi let let Nat get a I want this one now get a mount. you can have a motorcycle too <laughs> <laughs> I can just conjure one for you yeah it it, uh, it says please if you let me live you can take whatever treasures in this room you would like you I mean, know, if you die, you we can that. still take those treasures. Yeah. So you're going to have to do slightly better than that. I but. won't put up a fuss when you take them. It's what I mean. <laughs> giddy, giddy up. What fuss are you going to put up if you're dead? I'm just, I'm, I'm not going I'm to yell about it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> How about uh, this? Do you have a tiny version that can... Uh, ride in a backpack and one of our characters and provide funny commentary because Alindra's looking for a pet for this season and she hasn't gotten one yet. It gives birth from one of its spore pods to uh, another warrior who's like bah, bah, bah. <laughs> I don't want that. Please take my baby just don't hurt me. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I want to live. This is kidnapping. We can't do this. Oh, it's happening, Tyler. <laughs> I, I can make it medium size. It's normally a large. You just make it tiny. You make it a mini creature. Yeah, Little this is not an. It, this is not an advanced Frugi warrior. This is just a regular uh, level <laughs> twelve, large, normally large Frugi warrior. Yeah, it lets out a squawk uh, <laughs> psychically in your mind and says, I will I love you, mother. Goodbye <laughs> for forever. <laughs> and and also to be continued. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, you've got a new ally for your party. <laughs> look, <laughs> look, Frankie, the Frankie, the Frugi warrior. Frankie the 
Uber driver. You can't name him that out there, or his voice will be like, hey, yo, I'm a freaky. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. I made it a spores. Hey. <laughs> 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 My mushroom man, oh, hey, uh, Frankie, over oh, hey, here. Uh. I'm sparring here. Yes, this these things are very dangerous if you give them turns with which to attack you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys did not give that guy a lot of turns. So <sighs> wait to, wait to wow. go. Way to go. And oh, and also all the crits and <laughs> effective, effectacious use of rerolls. You guys did a great job. Yeah, that's, well, that's going to do it for us this week, everybody. Thank uh, you. Thank you for playing with me. Thank you, Patrick. Thank, thank you. Patrick, you. Well, listeners, thanks for listening. Norse Foundry, Patreon subscribers, thanks everyone out there. This was, this was a very <sighs> silly episode, but very fun. <laughs> we will catch you next time here on Cosmic Crit. Bye. Bye. Cosmic Crit, an officially licensed partner of Paizo Incorporated. The Starfinder role-playing game and adventure paths are trademarks of Paizo. All Pathfinder and Starfinder images are property of Paizo and are used with permission.